Call it a gimmick, call it crass, but ballet, set to rock music, gets bums on seats. No one knows this better than New York's Joffrey Ballet, who with their raunchy rock blockbuster billboards have tapped into a whole new audience. Their secret weapon? Prince. Billboard's unique because what it is doing, it's bringing in uh, audiences in every country, new young audiences that have never, never, ever thought of going to the ballet. I don't think you could dance billboards unless you were truly a, uh, an avid trained classical dancer. We seduce the audience into thinking that they can just get up and, and vogue and, and rock, but that doesn't make a billboards without the, the, the background, without, without the, the classical vocabulary. I mean, when you look, you'll see the, the, uh, you'll see your arabesque, you'll see your glissage, but they are so incorporated, it's like a great piece of, 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 uh, of clothing, like a, a Dior or a, uh, you know, Yves Saint Laurent, you go inside and you see that those scenes are really refined and, and, the, and the choice of, of materials is the best. Like a dog, yeah, to me, just like a dog, yeah, to me, just like a dog. Just two years ago, the Joffrey Ballet was in dire financial straits. But since their prince in shining armor came to the rescue, ticket sales have gone through the roof and they don't even have to pay his royal purpleness royalties. Before I knew him, um, it was like trying to get in to see the Pope. I mean, he is guarded. His life is very private. I mean, he is a phenomenal guy. He had never seen the ballet ever before in his life. Uh, he had come to the Joffrey and saw a mixed rep. He became so inspired that he, he said, I, Mr. A, I'm going home, I'm writing music for you in the Joffrey Valley. And I thought, well, he's a nice guy, you know, and he's, you know how people say things at the top of their head, but he was very genuine, a fantastic musician. And he was serious. In truth, he's helped the Joffrey to survive because of his generosity. Amongst the 40 Joffrey dancers is a boy from Ballarat called David Kears. So David, how did a boy from Ballarat get to the Big Apple in the Joffrey Ballet? I was, did a competition in June of last year, 1993, and um, I made it all the way through to the, the fourth round, and after the fourth round we had a, a gala night, and I was asked to dance in that and perform that evening. And we had a gala function afterwards, and I was taken by one of the, the coaches of the competition over to um, Mr. Arpino's table. I was like, wow, all my icons are here. And Mr. Arpino stood up and said, you know, loved your performance tonight and, you know, have a space in the company, would you like to come and join? I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I chose him because he has all the qualities that I, as a dancer and an artist, like in a, in a male dancer. I like the brusqueness, the bigness, the, the boldness, and yet the grace of a great athlete. And that's what David has. The male dancer is a master dancer athlete. He has to perform all the greatest feats of a football, basketball, but he has to do it with rhythm, style, and, and, and strength. I mean, when he, you lift a ballerina of 112 to 120 pounds, high above your head and then you drop her and you and you you carry her try it you guys you know just try it and you'll see you won't get very far it's not like just carrying a small ball down the field and dodging a lot of guys that's easy i think but to have the grace the poise and the strength of a of a male ballet dancer nothing to equal it Nothing is real in the theater. It's the fourth dimension. And when you enter it, it's as if one enters into a dream, truly. So my, uh, my love for the theater, it has to come out of a love. It has to come out of a joy. It's a phenomenon in the sense that 
We've never been able to attract the basketball, football, rock audiences into the ballet. And that's what Billboards is doing. But not only is, is, it, is it bringing in the, uh, the young, but it's also uh, cementing family relationships. Families come together. And at the end of the uh, uh, performance, suddenly the fathers, the mothers, the sweethearts, the brothers are all clapping in unison with the beat of Prince and not realizing that they're, they're really attacking the music of now.